Washington. Thank you, Mr. President. Mr. President, I'm here to lift up the voices of the families that I represent in the state of Washington, who, like so many other Americans, agree the internet should be free and open, who agree our country should support small business owners and entrepreneurs and students and middle-class families, not big corporations and special interests, who agree that consumers, not broadband providers, should get to pick the websites that they visit or applications that they use, who agree the internet should be a level playing field that benefits end users and not slanted by broadband providers blocking content or charging for prioritized access. That's why so many of us are here on the floor today, to give a voice to the vast majority of Americans who want the internet to remain a place that fosters innovation and economic opportunity and robust consumer choice and the free flow of knowledge. Mr. President, these things are not a luxury. They are what makes American ingenuity possible. And I just have to say, as a former preschool teacher, I support net neutrality because it helps the next generation of innovators, our students, especially those in rural and low-income areas. Schools have worked very hard to improve access to high-speed connectivity for all students because they know from early education through higher education and through workforce training, students need high-speed internet in order to learn and get the skills that they need. Their teachers need the internet to collaborate with colleagues, access educational materials, help students learn valuable research and internet safety skills, and expand access to a high-quality education for students with disabilities and English learners. Rolling back net neutrality threatens that educational equity and worsens the digital divide. So let's protect the free and open internet, not just for today's consumers, but for our students, the next generation of American innovators. The choice couldn't be easier. Either we stand with everyday Americans or with the massive corporations that have found a new way to make more money off of them. Thank you, Mr. President. I yield the floor.